Hello, everyone. Uh, I am looking at your discussion posts, and I'm very, very happy that you guys are all responding to each other. Uh, and so one of the questions that I think I see most is how to uh, write down the equation if you have a graph. So here is a little sample. Um, this is supposed to look a little bit more nicer. But suppose we have some graph here with a peak uh, at the uh, y-axis. So uh, first, we need to figure out what the amplitude is. So for this, we figure out where the maximum and minimum is, and then we subtract it from each other. So 8 minus minus 2 is 10. And then we divide it by 2. And this will be our amplitude. Uh, and then our vertical shift. is uh, instead of subtracting the biggest and the smallest, we add them together. 8 plus minus 2. Then we divide it by 2. So this is 6 over 2, which is 3. So now we have our amplitude is 5, and our vertical shift uh, is 3. So now we need to figure out what the period is. The period. Well, as some of you have already noted, the B in uh, front of the uh, sine or cosine is going to be 2 pi over B and then the length. So this one, the length is from negative 3 to 3. That is the length uh, from peak to peak. So this peak to this peak will be the same thing. Anyways, the easiest one to see is uh, something like this. So we go from negative 3 to 3. So that means that's 6. So if we cross multiply and solve for b, we get that b is pi over 3 in this example. So b is equal to pi over 3. And now, uh, because this one starts at, uh, well, well, it's peaked at uh, x equals 0, that means it's in the shape of cosine. So uh, this will be y equals the amplitude, which is 5, cosine of pi over 3, which is b, times x, plus the vertical shift, which is 3. And so this is how we get our equation. Uh, but what if we wanted to write it as a sine graph? Uh, that is also not too bad. So the sine uh, is where it starts at 0. So this graph can be also can be thought of as the sine graph, but shifted this way. Where is the new starting point? Well, it goes, it's in the middle uh, from 0 to negative 3, because this is where one of the peaks is. And so this is at the point negative 3 over 2. So it's shifted to the left negative 3 over 2 units. And so this will be y equals 5 sine uh, pi over 3 and then we shift it. So when we do a shift to the left, we add it. And then the vertical shift stays the same. OK? And one way to check that is to make sure that you get 0 here. So if you plug in x equals negative 3 over 2, then well, inside here it becomes 0. OK? So this. These are the same exact uh, graphs, and later on, we'll uh, have a more formulaic way to go from here to here. But uh, we can also just uh, look at the graph and figure this out. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Uh, please, everyone, keep up the good work.